Hey, Carol. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. It's been a while. It's been so long. Well, I feel like I haven't seen like anyone in so long. But yeah, for us, it's been it's been a long while. It's been yeah. long for everyone to be honest. I love your hair. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm just letting it be. <laughs> Those but I love it. Like your yeah. hair, hair always looks amazing. Your hair always looks amazing. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Uh, it's good, you know, I've been just, well, you know, it's such weird times, but I've just been trying to, like, see the positive in all of it. Uh, so, yeah, we're managing fine, and I'm I'm really grateful not to be alone, you know, not to be quarantined alone. I'm with alone, my, yeah. My, uh, my boyfriend and my two cats, so it's not too bad. Nice. I have my family, so my sister, my parents, my dog. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah, you know, that's good. It's like yeah. quality family time that you never get to have. And, um, like, I, I really miss my family. Like, that really sucks. Like, I, yeah. I'm in Montreal, and my family's in Chamonix. It's like an hour and a half from here. And, yeah, I think that's the worst part, like, to feel so far like, mm -hmm. from my family and not knowing when I'm going to see them next. But, you know, at least uh, in the age where we live now, you know, we have technology. And we technology have, helps. Oh my God, it's the best I know. thing. It's the best thing. I was thing. actually telling myself like a couple of weeks ago, if we didn't have technology and this was happening, this was a few years ago, you know? I know, I know, right? Like, well, you know, stuff like that, like <laughs> pandemics, like it happened before. Can you imagine like just being stuck in your house and, you know, our phones, our computers, they're really like a window. <laughs> There's Netflix, there's the yeah. Disney Plus, there's the FaceTime. The <laughs> Disney Vi Plus! You know, like, thank God. Thank yeah. fuck for Disney Plus, yes. It's yeah. just, like, joy in the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. But, um, yeah. yeah, so I'm really thankful for, like, Zoom and Skype. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. able to see my family, yeah. I've been doing a lot of that with my friends, too, lately. So it's like, let's grab a coffee and, like, have some fun, you know? Or yes! Are my you my having friend did, like um now, or... Uh, me and my friend did, like, we were supposed to meet up and go to a lounge and do some coloring, mm -hmm. for, like, self-care, you know, and we ended up doing our self-care while we're quarantined, so it helped us. Exactly. Well, yeah. I think, isn't it the best time for self-care during, during what? I actually, I'm actually working on my graduation project. Oh, uh, wow. I'm supposed to graduate, like, in a month, <laughs> but we're doing all our stuff online, thank God, and my project is actually working with parents, teaching them self-care, because I'm working with special yeah. needs. Oh, wow. So yeah, my goal yeah. is to, to do, like, some self-care. And I actually had my practice this afternoon with my teachers. Yeah. For the presentation. So it was a lot of, uh, it was good. It was a, yeah, it was it good. Was weird, huh? it, it's It's so much work. It's so intense. But it's, like, the final stretch now, so. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, hats off to you. Because, <laughs> like, my Thanks. brain is just dead, like, during this quarantine. I feel like, you know, I have so much respect for people that, that have to go to work every day. And I'm like, yeah, I just go out, I just go out to do like the grocery, like, um, like once a week. And it's just, it gives me so much it's anxiety. It's even just the groceries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to like wait in yeah. line. And, yeah. Oh, and that's my friend Danielle. Come in. She's the best. From New York. Hey, New York. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I was just wondering if you want to talk a bit about, like, the projects you, you do, like, your music stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know sure. you do, like, acting, too, or something, like. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, my, well, you, you've seen me in, in Rocky Horror, you know, my uh, greatest love is uh, musical theater, so it was audition season, you know, um, during, like, autumn, winter, so a lot of auditions, but, you know, everything's canceled anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> whatever but I was really focused on that like I, I really worked on uh, a few auditions and I'm gonna keep doing that you know it's it's what uh it's what I love the most like it yeah just combines everything I love like the singing the dancing the acting and I was actually showing my boyfriend like some clips from a Broadway show the other night and it was so intense and I was like do you get it that's why I love it that much. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah, that's why I love it that much. Because, like, when emotions are so intense that you can't speak, you have to sing. I mean, some, yeah. some people don't don't get it. But uh, that's – so that's what I love. Um, but, of course, you know, so, so I'm so focused on that and, uh, like, other bands, like, cover bands that I have that I'm really happy. Like, every show we do, I'm so fucking happy. It's, <laughs> you know, I perform with my friends, and it's just fun. So, like, I don't feel like, 
the urge to put out like some I, I haven't felt like the urge to put out put out some music you know with my name like singer songwriter stuff because mm -hmm. I, I'm so busy like doing other like you know musical stuff um mm -hmm. but with this quarantine and being stuck at home I like I felt it more and more mm -hmm. and so I have a few songs like in my pocket and uh, I'm really excited to to put that out now like so you're writing songs or are you doing more covers Yeah, no, no, right, writing songs, and I have a few uh, songs that artists that I love gave me, and so, so like, songs of my, that, that are, that are going to be my own. So it's so funny, because I don't practice my English, like, during this quarantine, but I think Your it's English funny. Your English is so funny! <laughs> Who admires you when you write songs? Oh, well, you know, love. <laughs> love is the, the main theme, and I, I think it's, like, infinite. It's an infinite theme, and uh, it's been, you know, I don't remember who said that, but, like, everything has been said, basically, like, in songs, but not by me. So what's interesting is, you know, your point of view. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to try to say stuff, you know, with my own point of view. So a lot of love, life, uh, you know, shitty friends, great friends. <laughs> Talking about shitty friends, great yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's, it's been inspiring, and we have like the the whole setup. We have a great mic, so I think I'm gonna like come out of this quarantine um, with a few with a few recorded songs. Yeah. So at least you're keeping busy with the music stuff. Yeah. Well, you sure. know, I I couldn't uh, my mind couldn't go there like for the first few weeks uh, of quarantine, and I think it's okay. It's just, normal because it's new right? and you don't know what's going on. It's the unknown. So yeah, yeah. Like, I got so sense. annoyed. I got so annoyed by everyone like being, oh, I'm so busy. I'm doing this and this and being so productive. I'm like, chill out. There's so much to take in, you know. Yeah, I had so much anxiety too. Same. No, no, same. Like yeah. my my sleep cycle got all fucked up. You know, yeah. I I'm just gonna take a look at the yeah. comments a little. Hey guys. Um. Yeah, so, uh, you know, my sleep cycle got all fucked up, uh, a lot of stress, a lot of stress, a lot, lot of anxiety, and, and it's okay to, mm -hmm. allow, to allow yourself to feel all that. It's okay to not be pr productive, and I really need it. Like, yeah, we're all going through it, so we understand, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's mutual for, like, so many people. Yeah, it, you know, it really feels like the end of the fucking world, so it's so good. Yeah. That's the world, world, you know, world. they were saying the end of the world is coming, it's... Now it's here. So. Oh, I know. Fuck. Yes. So. And like, I don't know. People are like, it's the apocalypse and the end of the world. You know, like. Yeah. That's what's being said now. So. Yeah. Well, that's how it. That's how it feels. You know. Yeah. But I, I know we're gonna like make it out alive. Like, hopefully. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so different after. I really yeah. think so. I really think yeah. so. I think everything's gonna be different. Like, for our uh, perception like, our perception of, so like... So, just going back to work, like, we were talking about today, me and some friends, and we're like, it's going to be scary. Like, we're not even going to know what to do, you know? Yeah, it feels so yeah. useless to me. Like, my work right now, it feels so, um, like, not significant, you know? So it, for work, are you are you still working? Like, are you doing anything now, or is it just, like... No, because my jobs are, like, I'm a barmaid, and I'm a singer. So, lost my two jobs. Mm -hmm. Um... Like, I, I I found it hard first, but now I'm, like, okay with it because we have so much stuff we want to do, and um, we're, we're always, like, I'm so busy, I don't have the time, I'm so busy, and now we don't have that excuse, and um, I'm kind of enjoying that, just, just being in the moment and being able to breathe and think, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. life is so fast and crazy that I don't even have the time to think yeah so. like for me I I was in my I was in school all that and I'm doing a like I'm doing a stage also so I had to stop that and it gave me so much more time to work on my project so I feel like between that and then like being at home and doing my stuff at home it's nice to be like I don't have to force myself to work every night until like 10 o'clock at night you know Just yeah like yeah. take it easy a bit There's yeah. something about it yeah. that's I think it's really good for our mental health. 
like just just being able to breathe and and stop and just reflect on ourselves and our lives and and I think we're just going to be all the more focused like after that for it mm -hmm. I, but I mean there there's a part of it that's really bad for a man for our mental health as mental well. health yeah yes and I, like I'm going to be working with these people you know like <laughs> like all these people with mental health and all the anxiety and I'm yeah. going to be working with special needs and stuff so yeah I feel you know connected already yeah well thank yeah. you for, for everything you do like for making a difference because i feel the world really needs people like you right now oh thank yeah. you yeah our, i try our i try even like just like personally with friends i'm like i'm always here you know if, yeah if you need someone well, to talk to or i'm always open to even if i don't know what to say to people you know just open up and because yeah. it, it's not good to keep it inside you know so even if you just want to talk and i don't know what to say but i'm just there for you to like let it go you know mm-hmm And thank God for, uh, thanks God for, <laughs> for technology for that, you know? Yeah, that too. But I think that's, uh, that's the hardest part to me. Um, mm -hmm. just not being able to see my friends and hang out and just like yeah. keep contact because it, it feeds us so much more than we, than we think it does, like than we realize, I think. And just being quarantined like that, I think we're going to enjoy it even more like after I just I just my friends mm -hmm. are really important to me and I miss them like crazy right now yeah. so that's hard but some some other parts are good so just trying to see the silver lining and the positive exactly sure. yeah talking so about the, positive yeah, yeah I and I think you were saying you had a few things you wanted to talk about too yes because you know it's such weird uh, weird times like pretty shitty times for everyone Um, and there are a few things that make me really happy, and I thought I'd talk about that. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Maybe it'll help us too, right? Yeah, exactly. Just a few, a few things, um, like recommendations or whatever. Yeah, that different. make me happy, so it might make you happy too. The Office first. The Office is my go-to when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling like anything. It's just my go-to show. Uh, my just, sister loves that show. <laughs> It just yeah. brings my I haven't actually watched the movie, but I see, really like, I hear really good things. It's so good. You haven't watched it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to watch it. Not so, the whole thing. Not, like, yeah. from beginning to end, but I have to. Oh, you have to. My God. And yeah. as soon as you start, you, you, you'll want to watch They're it. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I'm really in love with Schitt's Creek as well. To me, it's a very, like, feel-good TV show. So, I've heard of that, that one, too. And my sister watches that one, too. <laughs> My um, sister watches a lot of shows, so I feel like everything is going to be like my sister watches that. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, great choices. Yeah. It's it's so funny and feel good. It's Canadian. It's uh all love, like it's all love, and it's like brilliant, brilliant humor and acting. So I really recommend that. Um, musically, what um, would have me like dancing and singing is uh, Hayley Williams. Oh, she's great. She's the best. She's great. She's the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's my oh, yeah. favorite. So, uh, yeah, she's, for those who don't know, she's a singer from the band uh, Paramore. She's Paramore's a lead singer. Um, but she has a new solo project that's coming out, like, uh, like one or two songs a week, and it's coming out now. It's oh, called cool. Pedals for Armor, and it's cool. just brilliant, brilliant, beautiful music. So she's I wonderful. Really Oh my God! Seriously, go listen. Her to that. vocals are amazing. She's so good. Oh, I really need like I really need yeah. new music right now. Yeah. I, that's how like that that that's why it bums me out so much that like Lady Gaga's not releasing her new album, and I wanted to talk to you about that. You know, actually, I was what? gonna be going to Toronto. Oh yeah, you were fuck. And uh, it's not canceled yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the tickets from my cousin. It was one of my Christmas gifts. Ugh, no, I so saw So I'm hoping it gets postponed and not canceled, because she usually postpones, right? Because remember oh. in Montreal last time? Yeah. Oh, my God. You well, know? that's where we so met. Like, this is bad luck for me. It's always time. getting postponed. Yeah. Oh, so no, I'm hoping, it's if anything, it'll just be, like, later. It's going to get postponed, for sure. But it's Yeah, just... but that album, I was waiting for it so oh. much. And that she's postponing, like, the release of her album, I, like, I'm not liking, liking this at no. all. No, no. And I was going to, did you see the, the, the video for uh, Stupid Love? Of course, yes. 
but I feel like people need new music right now. Like yeah. it's very nourishing and it's, you know, just to know that there's still something going on in the world and to feed on new music. We really need that. Like I get her, um, that like what she's saying that, uh, her music is to dance to like all together. Yeah. Like, she wants to release it like after all that craziness, but, uh, but still I feel like it, it like a Lady Gaga album would really help right now. Yeah, I know. Especially I, her. Oh my God, yes. But you know, Haley Williams stuff's really helping me. Um, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of artists are releasing on online some songs and stuff, which is helpful. Oh. It's just like when you were really waiting for an album, it's like, oh no, you know. I know. Yeah. I know. I can't wait, but it's gonna be like even more awesome when she. Releases oh yeah, for it. sure, oh, for I'm sure. So excited. Um, Don't worry, she's not gonna cancel it. She's gonna postpone it if anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, for sure, for yeah. sure. Uh, what makes me happy is uh, BroadwayHD.com, too. There's there's so many Broadway shows, like, filmed, like, professionally filmed that are, are on this website. And there's this play called Present Laughter that is so witty and funny and brilliant. And that, like, I had the best time. I think it was my favorite moment of the whole quarantine. <laughs> it, just made, it just made me so, so happy. So that makes, yeah, that, that's helpful. Um, yes. Instagram wise, um, there's this comedian, it's in French, but Arnaud Seri. Okay. Arnaud Seri, he does lives like pretty much every night, and it's just the funniest shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> the funniest shit. Like, I put it on my TV, and it, yeah, it, he's he's brilliant. He's he's a um, comedian, like actor. Um, he's really funny, and that's helpful to me. <laughs> just nice. Just to laugh it off. And uh, quiz night with my friends as well. Ah, uh, fun. With this crazy night. My sister's actually, my sister's friend is actually, every couple of weeks they do, like, her friend plans, like, a game show, and then she invites a few friends over FaceTime, and they play, like, this game show thing. Yeah. So it makes it fun. It makes it fun. So that's the list of uh, things that are helping And I me. do, like, like, like I said, like, coffee dates and, like, self-care, like, coloring with my friends and stuff yeah. like that, you know? So it makes it, like, I was, the, the day, the I was supposed to have this have school on on Friday. I forget what the day was, but the Friday that they started closing everything. Yeah. I was supposed to meet my friend that night. So I said, if my school's that if if it stays open, I'll meet you. But if not, I can't. So we ended mm -hmm. up doing it on the computer like that. Well, there you so, go. You know, yeah. we do what we can. Yeah, we all do what we can. Uh, but yeah, I know it's rough, up. but it's. Yeah. Oh, my friend just said, "Hey, Michelle, I was just talking about you and our coloring dates." <laughs> I was just talking about you, girl. That's my friend that uh, we color together. We're actually supposed to color this weekend together. Well, you know, Danielle right there, my friend who I watch Broadway Broadway plays and musicals with. She's there. Hey. Yeah, it's just, you know, you have to find new ways of connecting with people, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm really enjoying that. It's like new new things that are exciting. Like, we we would have never done that. Like, quiz nights like over over zoom but it's fun like everyone in their like living room with a beer with a glass of wine and mm -hmm. you know we had a dance party the other night it was so, it was so funny and fun and you know we just have to remind ourselves that we're not alone in this we're in it together definitely yeah uh, we fucking can't wait for it to be over but um, in the meantime all... we'll deal with it right yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah absolutely uh yeah, so it's been uh it's been crazy but uh managing. I'm managing. Same, thank God eh? Yeah. Any any shows you were looking forward to that um got cancelled or postponed um besides Gaga? If what, sorry? Any shows you were looking forward oh, to? For me, I was supposed yeah. to go see uh Rhea May and Matthew Good. Oh yeah shit. I saw Rhea May in December and I loved her so much that I wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. But they post, I was actually, I was canceling it on myself. I'm like, I want to play it safe and just not go. But then like a day later, it got canceled so, or postponed. So I'm like, you know? Yeah. So and now I have the chance to still go. And there are like, obviously so many tragedies. Oh, and my friend world. Aaron is telling me that Cowboy Meets Pirate was supposed to play a show. I didn't know about it yet, Aaron. So I couldn't really say that. But yes, I'm dying to see you guys again. Also another amazing rock style. Yeah. Kind of band. Uh, so yeah, if you're down to like, hell yeah, shows, yeah, 
Oh, yeah, I think yeah, so that's be, like, all it was for now, really. I, as you know, I travel to Ottawa for some shows and stuff. Yeah. But I, I actually, I was in Ottawa for one of their shows in end of February, actually. So I was really lucky I got to go and see one of the last shows yeah. before this whole thing happened. So I was really glad I did that. Oh, I saw, yeah, apart from that. I saw a show on March uh, March 10th. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy I got to see it. I mean, it's it's three uh, singers, uh, French Canadian, like French. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, and Aaron, I'm always going to be at your shows unless <laughs> something comes up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will be there. <laughs> Sorry. So, no problem. So it was like Marc-Denis Pelletier, Marie-Carmen, Joe Bocquin at Place des Arts. And it was the best thing ever. Like, I bought tickets for a show, like, um, next year because I want to see it again. But mm -hmm. um, I, I'm so happy I got to see it before everything closed. And yeah. I actually wanted to go back. Uh, the Thursday after that, but that's the day everything shut down. Like yeah, everything. that's it. Like everything shut down right. Sorry, oh. I'm glad I oh, went when spoke. I was... okay. Went. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it froze again. Oh no. Um. Yeah. So you know there are tragedies like nonstop. It's it's shitty times, but there's still like little things that hurt and that make me sad, like shows I had tickets to that I'm going to be missing, you know, like I was supposed to go see James Taylor, like in, um, in a few days with all family. And I was so yeah. looking forward to that. So, you know, I like the fact that there's a lot of like live streams now that the artists are doing. Yeah. So it makes it mm -hmm. fun. You know, it makes it interesting. It's, 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 yeah, it, it makes it fun like for for us to see but at the same time i feel like you know i it's not a really good thing for artists because they're no i know but it's mm -hmm. yeah it's it's tough and that's why i wanted to do these things of like talking to different musicians because i wanted to see yeah. like how they're taking it and stuff you know yeah it's really I interesting mean, to it's so fun. Like we all want to do that. We all, we all want to do that. We all want to share. Yeah. Uh, we all want to play music. But and because music has helped me, like... music has helped me a lot throughout many years. So I'm like, oh. how, what can I do to help musicians? Because they inspired me and got me through so much shit in my life. Yeah. So I'm like, what can I do? And now we're in quarantine. I've always wanted to do something, you know. And I'm yeah. like, why not talk to artists and find out how they're taking it, what they're doing, and how. Yeah. You know? and, and you know what's going on right now it, it really is hard for musicians because they're they're they don't even know if their um job is still going to exist after that you know people That's might it. might be really scared to go to shows you know so it, it's it, these are very scary times um and we want to share music you know and music helps so many people and at the same time like musicians yeah. are like do I have to find a new job? So mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's it's weird times, but um, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> weird weird ass times. Super weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but and everyone saying like um, oh, you know, because there are always gonna be dumb people, um, like shitting on artists, like mm -hmm. oh, that, like subventions, blah blah blah. Um, like try living your quarantine without music, without movies, without TV shows. You know, that's another artists. thing. That's so true. It's another thing. I think it has never been so clear how important artists are in, mm -hmm. in people's lives. Like a lot of my time when I'm working on my projects, for example, I just put my earphones on. And I just listen to music while I'm working. You know, it takes away all the background noise of like everyone being home. But it also just like the focus, you know, just. Yeah. And even in school, when I was still in school and I was working on my project in class, the teacher allowed us to listen to music because they know it's like a a good thing for some people and oh, yeah. it helped me a lot so no oh yeah. my god me too i don't even know if i would still be here if i didn't have uh, you know music to listen to and to relate to and wow i i'm, yeah. I'm you know you know lady gaga's song hair? hair yes oh my god that one got me through so much crap oh <laughs> my god oh my god don't you even know what I mean? the are like, <laughs> bless yeah yeah super good Oh, man. And I actually heard that song for the very first time on a bad day. So when I listened to it, I was crying so much. Doesn't it feel good, that song? It just oh, my God. Better and Anybody who hasn't heard the song Hair by Lady Gaga? Yes. I, I check should, it out. I should it's add great. that on the list of happy oh, things. Gaga is so good. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we can move on if anybody has questions to ask us. 
I mean, if any viewers have questions for you, That's can give it a couple of seconds and then we can go to music. How's that? Yeah, sounds good. I saw a lot of comments and stuff. I don't know if there were any questions in the comments. We really like um, pop music, you and me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Remember I, the day we met in person at the concert that got canceled? Oh, man. Yeah, we met for the first time in person at uh, Lady Gaga's concert. And we've, we'd been waiting, like, all day in line. Yeah, you and were there all day. I got there later in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, I was there all day. And then we saw on Twitter that she was canceling the fucking show. That was, like, last minute, too. I remember, oh, my God. I was telling Skyana, actually, one of my friends who just commented, uh, yeah. like, wrote, that yeah. I, showed her, I, showed her, I showed her the picture of the two of us that we took that day, remember? Yeah. That was on Instagram, oh. yeah. That was just so that, 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 that was That was later. horrible. But she came That's back. That's the go home, guys. You're here all day, but go home now. Oh, There's a I question. Know. Describe your m music in three words, Aaron. My music, my own music. Yeah, I would say, I would say, like, um, rock. I want to say rock. I want to say girl power, in a word. <laughs> <laughs> and pop, you know, it has to be catchy. Yeah, I'd say that. Yes. But uh, that day, Gaga canceled her uh, show. She was so sweet, though. She was staying uh, downtown. And we all, like, gathered around her, her hotel. hotel. And she was on the rooftop, like, singing with us. And she sent us pizza. Sure, pizza. She, yeah. She, she had pizza delivered for us downstairs. It was, you stayed. I didn't end up staying because I had to go home with my cousin. Mm -hmm. But I remember you were staying and you were telling me all about it. She's mm -hmm. so sweet. She's so sweet. So sweet. You know, it made for something, like, um, a special moment. It was different, for sure. And everyone was singing that song. Uh, what was it? We sang all of the songs. There was one song I think that she was like, it's really inspiring to me because, I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Well, you know, so we love pop. So we I, love. I, um, I thought I'd do, uh, do you like Tovlo? Do you know Tovlo? I don't know, but why not? You, why not? I think, like, you might know a song or two. But the I name, the name sounds familiar, so we'll see. So it's called uh, Talking Body, and I'm just gonna, you know, I had a beer or two, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna go for it and play some piano. Okay. Nice. Eight. Okay. Time to stay in bed. The feeling of your skin locked in my head. Smoke, smoke me wrong. I don't care, I'm down for what you want. Take drunk into the night. I'll keep you here. Cause you draw my tears. Yeah, some I love in the hearts. How it is for us. And it's all because Now if we're talking about it You've got a perfect one So put it on me Swear it won't take you long If you love me right We fuck for life Falling in love in love Love can be love Yeah, in your tears. Yeah, 
Obviously, the real one is very electro, like pop. Yes, yeah. I'm definitely gonna check that out. That was good. Yeah, I like. I'm wearing her ah, right look now. At that. Nice. I'm wearing her. Yeah, she was fucking great live. I saw her live at Nicopolis. Because I'm refusing to call it Mtelis. It's Nicopolis forever. It's not the same, right? It's not the same as like what you grew up to. <laughs> oh, Danielle, I love you. <laughs> that was really. No, I'm definitely gonna check that out. Like that was really, really good. Thank you. It's I love I love her songs. She's so um badass and a hundred percent herself and powerful and uh yeah, she's very liberated and uh very girl power. Love it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've ever seen you play piano. No, no, I mean it is a challenge for me. Uh I, I'm not used you know, I'm used to jumping everywhere on stage, like jumping up and down and dancing and, and moving. Yeah, like I've seen you at the cup two shows. Two Rocky Horror shows. Yes. <laughs> and I saw you when you were on TV. That's all I saw you. So, yeah. So. Well, you know, I'm not I'm not used to accompany myself. Uh, oh, thank you, Cosby. Yeah. That was dope. <laughs> so it was nice. It was nice. It was something different. I liked it. Thanks. Yeah, so it's definitely a challenge for me to accompany myself on the piano, but it's I like challenges. So I just And I feel like quarantine is the right time to work on new skills right so Seriously, yeah I'm just trying to work on my craft and yeah so I just tried something new for you tonight and for you guys and you did it you aced it thanks Everyone's commenting good things, so <laughs> very good mm. I'm drinking a very good IPA right now it's I recommend it yeah <laughs> add that to my list of recommendations It's um, yeah. it's a real, it's a ukulele IPA from La Gabiard, and it's very like fruity, fresh, milky. Is it yeah. a wine or what is it? Is it a no, beer? No, it's a beer. Yeah, it's, it's a beer. A, yeah. My sister's actually very into another thing. My sister's into you. Like, I have a lot of common things with my sister. My God, we take a lot of new beers and like breweries and stuff. You know. Exactly. Oh my God, we have so many choices. Uh, I feel like you connect so well with my sister. <laughs> I feel like that too. That we should. I'll tell her a bunch of Yeah, after all that is over, let's hang out. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for having me. That was no fun. Problem. It was so good to talk to you. You too. I mean, let, let's keep uh, each each other posted and hang out when sure. all is over. And yeah. let me know, like, after this whole shit is done, maybe at some point, hopefully, I will come to a show. Yes. I'll, you know, I can't wait to be on stage. Yeah, I know. It's, it's rough. Yeah. But good luck with everything. Thank you so much. And stay good safe luck. and healthy. Good luck with your work and studies. My God. Yeah, it's almost done. <laughs> I'm just like, I need to pass this because if I at least pass it, I become credited and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. so, oh, you got this. You got yeah. this. I was struggling a bit halfway through, but now I feel like I'm getting there. You know, the teachers said, like, they're telling us not to worry, so... Yeah, and you're so dedicated to it. like yeah. everything you're doing. Yeah. You're so dedicated, so I'm not even worried for you. You got it. Thank this. you. We'll keep in touch for sure. Yes, hundred percent. Thanks again for joining. Thanks. Thank you guys for for being there. Thank you, Danielle. You, you oh, you stayed throughout mm -hmm. the whole thing. Love you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Soon. Bye. Yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs> 